This YouTube title isn't clickbait. It's a fact. But before I get into it, I'd like to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'll be shooting a basic drill. I was just at 10 yards from the target. And I've got our rifle ready up standards printable target. It's like a eight inch circle. I'll be using a basic Glock 19 with iron sights. Shooting from one of our Ragnarok holsters. I'm just gonna do four rounds right into the circle from 10 yards. Let's do this. That was three, four, six. Let's do it again. The group opened up a little bit. Three, four, three. Do it again. It's about 28 degrees, by the way. Three, three, two. We'll do it one more time. That was three, two, five. All right, so we completed our five strings of fire for a total of 20 rounds. And as you can see, I have 100% accuracy inside this target with these conditions, shot in three, four, six down to three, two, five. So the times are pretty similar. So my question to you guys is, if I continue shooting this drill, this same speed with this same accuracy standard, am I going to become a better shooter? And the answer is probably not. What I need to do is I need to start giving myself more conditions and raising my standard and actually pushing myself to the point of failure. So I can do that a few ways. I could make my target smaller, I could back up more, go to a, a longer range, like 15 or maybe 20 yards, or I could start simply speeding up. I say we speed things up. Same target, same distance, we just start ramping up the speed. All right, 258. All in. A bit faster. Two, one, zero. All right. It's a little bit quicker. Now we're really going to push it. There we go. One, eight, one. We missed. So as you guys can see, I finally missed. And that was going a speed of 1.81. And I dropped one here in the corner. My other three shots were inside. But before that, I did a 2.1, all hits inside, and then a 2.5 that was clean as well. And that's a pretty stark contrast compared to the times I was putting up earlier. So the point I wanna make is, now that I've missed, and I really pushed myself, I know where my breaking point is. So now I can throttle back that a little bit, and I can start training for the 2.1 or 2.2 time frame to keep getting that 100%, 99% consistency, but I'm not just gonna sit there. I'm not just gonna get complacent and be okay with, that's good enough. I'm always gonna push myself to get that miss because then I know what I need to train for, what I need to correct, and that's how you can build high standards in your shooting. principle doesn't apply to just shooting. 
It applies to other skills and talents as well. And when you've acquired a skill and can perform it to a certain level, it can become very easy to become comfortable and complacent. But that's how you dig yourself into a performance rut and become stagnant. But if you can train to the point of failure, you can push your boundaries. Don't be afraid to miss. Learn from that miss, raise your standards, and then crush those standards. Time of 1790.